Okay, setting uh, two inverters, one master and one a slave. I only have one inverter in this system, but we'll go through here. You go down to the first inverter and then hit enter. And then you want to get into advanced menus. If you don't see advanced as your first item, hold down these three buttons and press them simultaneously and you'll get advanced settings. And then scroll down to multi-unit. And then the inverter will go into standby. It will start flashing, indicating which inverter you're on. And then you can see here, I have split phase master. So you wanna make sure the ID is 01 and split phase master. You go back out to your other inverter. Let's pretend I have another inverter. And so enter and then go down to, to that's inverter two. You'd go into it, advanced settings, scroll down to multi-unit, and then you would set, make sure the device number is other than one, since your master is one, and then make sure this, you can change this to split phase slave. So all other inverters besides one should be slaves. And then that'd be that. And then your inverter will come back on and be happy. And your other inverter, pretend it's here, will also be happy. And then your configuration error will go away.